I'm Sharon Spangler. Welcome to this Council Connection. My guest is Dan Gustin, who represents Ward 1 of the City of Reno. And I think that it is time to talk about sports again, because <laughs> it's just been amazing. The first season of the Bighorns is almost complete, and we've got uh, AAA baseball opening in April, so that's just around the corner. So first off, Dan, um, how do you think the, the Bighorns and the AAA baseball are affecting the Reno economy? Well, I hope in a positive way. I know for the Bighorns, they've been averaging about 3,000 a game. I think the, the, they had a, a Sunday afternoon game or a 3 o'clock game in the afternoon where they had uh, below 2,000 people, but they had a sellout their first time. Uh, just about a week and a half ago, they had 3,800 people at a game, then 3,100. And the games that I did last week, they had 3,044 and 2,800 and change, whatever it was. So I think that's been good. And the good part about it is that those people get out of the game in time that they can do other things. Or they start at 7 o'clock and you can eat downtown. So I, it, it's whatever the economy, I, we're going to take a couple months to see what happened uh, during these games, but there are people coming to downtown, and that's the important thing. We want people to be downtown because there are things to do, there are restaurants to go to, and enjoy downtown. So if they're here, people usually spend some money. So I'd say it's, a, it's been a positive impact. Well, the, the Special Events Center has been a partnership between the city of Reno and the downtown properties, the casino properties. And in the two years or so that that's been open, I think in itself has far surpassed all expectations. And now with the Bighorns playing there, it's just an, another draw to get people down to that event center. You know, there one thing, the, the, uh, the fight that we had recently, the, the Brinkley-Gilbert fight was near a sellout. So that was an event that was downtown. But you're right about the event center bringing people to downtown, not only for basketball. I, I know I heard from some people uh, at the event center talking about they weren't sure, the casinos weren't really sure about how the impact would be with bringing a basketball team in town with the, the uh, university having a very strong program the last few years and they weren't sure but I, I've heard recently that they're, they're endorsing it. They're saying, hey, wait a minute, the, the players are coming over, they're, they're making friends with the people, the visiting teams are staying downtown. So I think it's had a very positive response for a lot of people downtown, not only the business owners, but people in general. Does it normally take a couple of years for a team like the Bighorns to, to really um, a attract that base of loyal people that are going to keep coming back and watching the game? You know, it, it, sports are funny. Uh, if you win, people will show up. And, that, <laughs> and, and the Bighorns started out slowly because they had so many games on the road. I think 14 of their first 18 were on the road. But the thing that they did, and I think it's been the key and it will be the key for the Aces, and they've done seemingly a, a wonderful job with that, and that's the marketing. Getting out and talking about a $10 ticket. I mean, when you can go and get that kind of entertainment and then be thanked for being there, they, they have some things they do at the, the Bighorn Games that are really interesting and learning from other successful sports franchises across the country. Players come out after the game, they sign autographs, they thank people for being there, the cheerleaders go up and say, hey, glad you spent your night with us. Those things are really important, I think. Uh, so it helps build your, your fan base a lot quicker because you, you go to a game and then you find out you're appreciated for being at a game and you want to go back. I've been to some of the games and I was surprised at just how much fun they are from what you were talking about. They play the rock and roll music, you know, ACDC and other of the old rock and roll songs that really get people going. And they've got the great mascot that comes out and the little kids can get their pictures taken. And the one night that I uh, that I'm remembering one of the anchors from one of the local TV stations was there and they were doing some giveaways at halftime. So I, I do think they've done an incredible job of marketing that. The other thing that I thought w w is kind of significant is people are cutting their budgets. This is something they can do in Reno and they can still get out and have a good time. Yeah, they can do it affordably. They, they have a package where four people get four tickets, four hot dogs, four soft drinks for $44. Wow, you, you know, that's so, a great deal. Now, I, I'm not saying a hot dog's an entire dinner, of course, but, <laughs> but where else? And I think that there's a bag of chips involved, so it rounds it out. But where else can you go and get that kind of entertainment and, and have something to eat and something to drink for uh, a minimal price. It, it's not much money. $11 per person and you get a, a, a ticket to the game and the food I talked about. The nice thing I wanted to mention though, you're not too old. 
because you know what? <laughs> Some people have been saying the music's too loud. And you remember the old expression, if it's too loud, you're too old? <laughs> well, Jessica Sparaza's intern is, works with the big horns. And he asked me, how do you like the music? I said, I love it. He goes, oh, good, because I pick it out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so it's great talking to you about the big horns. We're going to talk about AAA baseball, but right now we're going to take a break and we'll be right back.